and jumping back into this, you know, talking about NFTs and kind of the core technology and the basics around it, it wouldn't be complete if I didn't touch on the blockchain ecosystem so you can kind of understand how this is all falling into place. <clears throat> There's generally three different layers, layer zero, layer one, and layer two. And those layers serve different purposes. If you've seen other videos that I've put here on the YouTube, uh, I've talked about bridges and interoperability and their relationship to layer zero and how that sits between the networks and allows for the passing of information. You know, layer one is the core, the foundation. It's the main networks. It's blockchain. It's Ethereum. It's, you know, things like that. They are built a certain way. They will always be built that way, which is why you have, you know, blockchain, blockchain cash, Ethereum, things like Ethereum 2.0. So the whole, you know, make up the whole design was that they would do a certain thing and that's all they would ever do. And that's where we kind of get into this situation with layer two, because layer two comes into play to improve the efficiency uh, of these infrastructures, right? When we think about this in normal business today, you know, we have a lot of core industries that do a lot of different things at those core industries our core companies, those core companies, our foundations, our bedrocks, our large over-encompassing co companies that are pretty much set in their ways and they're not gonna be much more than that, right? Uh, and then you have these smaller companies that come in and specialize and offer particular services to make the larger companies' lives easier, for example, right? And that's a way that we can think of layer one and layer two being connected by layer zero. You know, because in some way, shape, or form, data needs to be passed from layer one through layer zero to layer two. <clears throat> in any of these blockchains, in any of these regular business models, you know, inputs and outputs are generally the core, right? So the blockchain ecosystem is like a lasagna. It's made up of different layers, and within those different layers, you know, there's also subsequent layers uh, and other offerings that help make, you know, these core elements function better. So, you know, just like what we've discussed, we're just navigating through these structures, these different levels of information. We're passing information through this distributed network um, that's existing parallel to our current universes in a digital world. So it's difficult to understand, it's difficult to grasp because there's a lot of different mental models that have to be built around this, right?